What's going on everyone? John Ranger from Techno Buffalo here with the latest from HTC. To say that they've had a rough few years would probably be an understatement, but in our previous HTC 10 video we did a five things you should know and the feedback seemed to be really positive. People liked the phone and wanted to know more about it. So no more about it you shall. This is our full review of the HTC 10. HTC has come a long way in their design, and the HTC 10 is a culmination of those years and years of experience. The phone feels incredible in the hand. You've got that aluminum build, and you get the feeling you're holding a premium device. And that carries along to the side of the device. I really like the textured power button, for example. But not all is roses, chocolate, and unicorns from a design standpoint. While I really like the 12 megapixel shooter on the back of the camera, I don't like them humps. So I read the comments on our five things to know about the HTC 10, and a lot of you were talking about the chamfered edges on the design, and they were, suffice to say, a bit polarizing. I'm not the biggest fan, but they look exaggerated in pictures and video. Check out the device for yourself and then make your judgment. Hooray for HTC for finally adding a fingerprint sensor on a flagship device, and this one works incredibly well. But what it's not is a depressible button. It does work as a home button, but it doesn't move. Internal storage, these are 32 or 64 gigs. Before you get all mad that that's gonna be it, external storage is here! Yay! HTC spent four pages in the press kit talking about audio quality, and they've always brought the boom, so to speak, and instead of me talking to you about 24-bit, high-res audio, and telling you how incredible their headphones supposedly sound, let me just tell you what my experience has been with it. First, those headphones plug in on the top, but they sound really incredible when you do listen to them. Also, the new Boom Sound speakers are incredibly solid. They have a separated tweeter and woofer design, which is a weird thing to say about a phone, and that's gonna lead to just really good audio. I'm not gonna spend too much time on performance. It's got a Snapdragon 820 and four gigs of RAM, so do the math. It's fast, but because I know benchmarks are didn't happen, Quadrant was 42,492, and then Tutu was 152,747. Where performance was surprisingly outstanding was on the screen, and nothing I've really noticed on other phones. It worked, when I touched the screen, things moved. This almost seemed like it was moving before I touched the screen, really fast. So if you just glance at the camera specs on the HTC 10, you might think it was kind of pedestrian, but on the higher end of average. HTC packed 12 million ultra pixels into that, and what that fancy marketing talk is going to mean, is you're going to get 135% more light than the outgoing HTC phone. All that coupled with an f1.8 aperture, and you're going to get absolutely gorgeous shots. The laser autofocus focused incredibly fast. The pictures look beautiful in normal outside light. They look great in inside office light. Surprisingly good in low light definitely was some artifacting but it didn't look too bad uh, I would say this camera ranks absolutely up there with the iPhone 6s and on par if not maybe slightly below what I consider the king of the smartphone camera world the Galaxy S7 I was also really surprised how quickly I was able to take pictures. The shutter speed was really fast. The camera though is about more than just taking nice pictures, it also can shoot video, and it can do it in 4K with 24-bit high-res audio. The 4K video looks absolutely outstanding, uh, and the OIS worked really well. But that's not the only camera with OIS. The front-facing 5 megapixel sensor also has it built in. If you'd like to tweak your pictures and the auto mode's just not for you, know that the 10 is going to shoot in RAW, and its pro mode gives you really granular control over a lot of settings you get in a DSLR. On the software front, it's running Android, in case, in case you didn't know that. Uh, it's based off 6.0.1, and like me, Sense has lost a lot of weight. HTC took a ton of bloatware out of here. So save for the app drawer and settings, they really let Android be Android, something I very much appreciated. A few things here that are nice, you've got theming built in, uh, they have a secondary home screen called Freestyle which lets you replace apps with stickers. Uh, it's kind of neat, I didn't really use it very much, but I tried it. And also this is the first Android phone that supports AirPlay, although we were not able to get that to work in our testing. One of the most important features for a phone for me is battery life. It's really a make or break feature. The HTC 10 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery life. Before you get caught up on the milliamp hours, what matters is how it's going to perform with the phone itself. Battery life was absolutely outstanding for me. I was easily able to get through a full day. And the things you'd expect from a modern phone are here, including Quick Charge 3.0. But what's not here, just to know, is wireless charging. The big accessory HTC is touting with their 10 is the Ice View case. And if you like flip up cases, this is probably the best one out there. I love that you can access the camera without having to flip the case open, answer phone calls, and see other information. It works well. For me though, I don't like flip open cases, but if that's your jam, then let your freak flag fly. You're gonna love the Ice View case. I've been tough on HTC over the past few years. I think they deserve it. 
But I will say when things are good, if you couldn't tell, I really like the 10. HTC built an incredible phone with the latest specs that come together in a really awesome package. This phone absolutely gets a buy for me. If you want a phone that's gonna feel great in the hand, have a killer camera, a great screen, last you for a year, two years, I really think look no farther than the HTC 10. Pick it up, I don't think you'll be disappointed. What do you guys think? Are you buying one? You're not buying one? Are you buying something else? Let us know why in the comments down below. Be nice to each other down there. Be civil. Give the video a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Jack No Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next video.